What the hell is in that beer? Stay tuned and find out. Hi, here we are. Another episode of Homebrew the Partial Mash Way. And we're about to keg, bottle, filter the No Name Jalapeno IPA. Um, Looking forward to tasting it. First thing I'm gonna do is take a gravity weeding. If it hasn't hit 1.2, I'm gonna put it off. So I probably, or 1.02, so I probably should have done that first, but eh. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, I posted, posted a picture of this to several, uh, several of the homebrewing groups I'm in uh, on Facebook. And pretty much, I got, I got quite the response and pretty much the consensus is, how the hell did he get a whole chicken inside of a carboy. Um, apparently that's what everybody thought the picture looked like. Well, I'm here to tell you, no, it's not a chicken. It's a hop bag that I used to, that I weighted down to keep the hops for the dry hop and the jalapenos, all that suspended instead of floating to the top. You can see, I don't know if you can make that out, but some of it still did float to the top, but that's, that's the reason for that. Um, so no, there's not a chicken in here, as you're gonna see. Of course, if you'd watched the previous video, you know that. Um, we got two, I got two strong entries for naming it. One was uh, Mexican Hop Dance. The other was Prenuptial Pepper Ale, because this is for a, uh, uh, a bachelor party. So, love to hear from you guys. Tell me what you think. Do you either like the Mexican hop dance or the prenuptial pepper ale? Prenuptial pepper ale. I'm not taking any more suggestions. I've got it narrowed down to those two. So let me know what you think in the comments. So anyway, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the gravity reading and hopefully we hit our mark. As always, everything that I, all the, my tools and equipment that I'll be using have already been washed clean and sanitized. Excuse me, gotta get this. I'm also really looking forward to tasting this bad boy. See if those hops came through. Uh, we'll go ahead and use, since it's the first, first night of the NHL playoffs, and I think everybody knows by now what team I support. Be, can't wait to watch that. All right, here we go. Oh, I gotta take this out first. Actually, come to think of it, this hasn't been sanitized yet. Whoops. Got a bucket of star sand right over here though, so no big whoop. Sorry about that, having to wait on me. Okay, now we're sanitary. See what we get. Liking that color. Okay, go over do this over the sink. That made a mess. Okay, and we are at, oh yeah, we are at 1.01 1 Four. So it didn't it didn't change either because I think that's what we got last time. So yeah, we're at 1.014. So she's definitely finished. Leave that. Well actually just leave this in here. And let's give her a taste. Come on, jalapenos. Hopefully they came through this time. Big old sample. All right, so you get a close up. There's the color. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Eh, seen IPAs lighter and darker. Nah, I get it. I get it. I definitely, you know, the hops, but we dry hop. That's the whole point of dry hopping. Um, I will say that uh, I don't, I still don't smell any jalapeno, but I don't think 
I think the hops are always going to be too strong for smell. Let's see about taste. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, that worked. I don't think I'm gonna bother using that extract. I think the extract will be too much. They come in at the end. I mean, it's real upfront hops and then it finishes with jalapeno. That's some good stuff. It's gonna be even better carved. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave now. We're gonna go. Um, and uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bottle. We're gonna do a 12, 12 pack of bottles like we did previously with Bach U because I am gonna be sending this to the guys at Two Ten Ninety Brewing. Speaking of which, uh, I got uh, Todd got in touch with me late last week. They should be shipping me some beers this week. So I'm thinking. If I, as soon as I get them, uh, depending on how many there are, I'm gonna either do, I'm either gonna have uh, a, a buddy come over, and, excuse me, a buddy come over. Oh wow, it burped jalapeno. <laughs> right on. Um, I'm gonna have a buddy come over and we'll split them and review them that way. And if I can't find anybody to come over, I'll just do a whole series, probably, you know, quick five, 10 minute videos for one, maybe two beers. Um, just kind of depends on how much they send me. So anyway, looking forward to that, that's awesome. So we're gonna get a 12 pack of this bottle. So uh, so I have some bottles to send them of this because I think that this is gonna be a winner. So we're gonna bottle, then we're going to, then the rest we're gonna throw into a keg, then we're gonna filter that because this is meant for a bachelor party and you know not everybody drinks homebrew and I don't wanna be scared off by it not being super clear and the, the whole yeast factor for myself. So we're gonna do that. Um, and that, that'll be that. All right, so uh, I guess I'll come back and talk to you guys when we're all finished up. Thanks. All right, so we're all done. Um, 
I had some issues with the, the filter system. Um, it was blowing way too many bubbles, so I had to stop. What ended up being was that uh, the keg, the, uh, the, the Origins keg, the keg I was pushing from to the filter uh, had a small leak. And I quickly came up with a solution that a home brewer, a friend of mine a long time ago taught me. It was coming from the one side. So what I did, I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, that penny, I used a penny to make it close tighter. That took care of the problem. So I was able to start back up. And just wanna show everybody this. See that? That is not a chicken. It's a hot bag. It's not a damn chicken for all you people who thought I put managed to get a whole chicken in a carboy. Now, as far as getting this out of here, <laughs> that might be a whole video onto itself. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I, something tells me that uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get all that out of there. I might even have to destroy the hot bag, but I don't really care. I don't use them very often. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, this, the 12 pack is in the closet in the dark. You saw again that I use New Belgium bottles and their boxes because I think the capping, capping on their bottles is about the easiest of any bottle I've ever I've tried. And their boxes are completely enclosed so no light. Um, and then the keg is pressurized downstairs in the keg getting cold. Um, I'm actually going to be making a modification to my kegerator. Um, up to this point, I've kept the CO2 bottle in, in the little keg, the kegerator with the kegs. But the problem that I'm, I'm having is that the, uh, the back wall where the cooling element is freezes up. And I think it's because the CO2 tank is resting right up against it. If you have an opinion on this matter or no, no more information, please send me a comment because that way I don't have to worry because I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, be modifying my kegerator so my, my CO2 tank is outside the kegerator from now on. Um, yeah. Well, if you like what you saw, subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos. I try to upload once a week. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Just look up Homebrew the Partial Mash Way. Um, I'm also in several homebrew groups on Facebook. I re pretty regularly post. Again, that's how people. That's why people thought uh, I had a chicken in this carboy. Not a chicken. Um, I think somebody also said that they thought it was one of the uh, face grabbers from the Aliens movies. I thought that was pretty funny. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let me know if you like Mexican hop dance or prenuptial pepper ale as a name. That's it. I'm done. So, uh, yeah, cheers.